Hi, and welcome to the Movie Magic Budgeting Back to Basics. My name is Caitlin Bogert, and I'm going to take you through this video and show you how to open a template, how to navigate through the application, and what some of the icons mean. Let's get started. All right, so now we're in the budgeting application. We've opened it, and now we need to open a template. To open a template, you need to click on File, New Budget. It will bring you into the System Template folder where you'll get a list of different templates. For this demonstration, we're going to select the academic template uh, as it's easy for us to move around. All right, so when I open the academic template, it brings me into the application and into the template, and I'm now in the top sheet. So what you're looking at is a very high-level summary of every cost in your budget. I want to quickly talk about what we're looking at in the top sheet so that you understand how I'm going to move around in this page. These account numbers over here refer to your chart of accounts. So these are the account numbers that pertain to the different categories. These later on go into your accounting system and they have to match up in order to track your costs, your budgeted costs versus your actuals. I also want to talk about these line numbers next to the account numbers. These numbers are very important when it comes to moving around the application. Uh, to give you an example, I'm going to take you through now using these line numbers and our navigation bar. Our navigation bar is up here. It starts with this ball and moves through these different icons all the way to this go. This is also our navigation bar. So right now you can see we're in the top sheet. I'm now going to take us down a level. So like I said before, this top sheet is our high level summary. It's a summary of everything in our budget. Imagine we're at the top of a pyramid and we're taking in the view. We can't really see the ground yet, but we're at the very top. We can see everything, but we want to see the ground. So we're going to go down into our budget and a level. So to do that, I'm going to select my line item. I clicked on that line number. And I'm going to come up to my A and I'm going to go down a level. So if I was on the pyramid and I walked down to the middle of the pyramid, again, I'm now in the account level. I'm at the middle of my pyramid. I get a little more view as to what is happening in my budget. This is a little more detail. Again, it's still a summary. You're not going to be doing any work in this section. It's just a little bit more detail. So if I highlight the row by selecting that gray number again, that line number and I come up and I select the detail or the D, it's going to take me down into the bottom of my budget. This is where I'm going to spend most of my time working. So if I'm on the pyramid, I'm now at the bottom of my pyramid. I can see the ground in great detail. Um, the next level down is our fourth level. This would be the foundation of our pyramid. So again, you know, this is a level that would be supporting. You don't always have to use this level. Most of your time is going to be spent on the detail level. So I'm going to come back up to my top sheet quickly just so we can again see the top sheet and again we'll, we'll briefly discuss the different breakdowns in the top sheet. We have our above the line, our below the line, our post-production, and other. So as I scroll down you're going to see at the very bottom is my grand total. I'm briefly just going to go through these other icons so we know what we're looking at. This is open file, if I wanted to save a file, if I wanted to print, if I want to print preview. Our newest and latest feature, which is apply a credit, this is for tax incentives. If you are trying to track your tax incentives, you can use this feature. We do have another YouTube video on this that takes you into a little more detail as how this feature works. Our next icon is for fringes. This is to apply your fringes. So once you've created them, you would use this icon to actually insert them into your budget. The next icon is to insert groups. In this application, we allow you to create different groups of information. So again, once you've set up your groups, you're going to use this icon to apply those groups within the budget. The next icon is a formula maker. So if you have particular calculations that you want to create in order to calculate the budget, you can use this formula maker to make those. We also have a YouTube video on the formula maker. This is our globals feature. This allows you to create a name for your number essentially so that you can apply changes globally throughout your budget. The next icon is a recalculate 
uh, icon. This allows you to refresh that screen once you've been working for a while on the budget and making changes to your numbers. This allows you to really refresh um, what's happening. Next up again is our navigation tools. We have our movie magic ball. Arrows up and down allow you to drill down on that pyramid. So if we were at the top, we're at the top. If I click my bottom arrow, if I select an account and click my bottom arrow, it's going to drill down a level into my accounts level. You'll see the square corresponding goes over the A so that I know I'm in my accounts level. So I've gone down a level. If I use these side arrows, it's going to move me across. So think about it as moving across the surface. So if I, if I select this, it's going to move me across this accounts level. So I'm going to go down one. It's now moving me across my accounts level. I'm still in the accounts level, but moving across it. Um, and then again, we have our top sheet, the T for top sheet, the A for accounts, the D for detail, the 4 for that fourth level, and our go to allows you to type in any account number you may need to find and go directly to it. That's the basics of navigating through the application. There will be more to come. I hope that helped you navigate Movie Magic budgeting a little easier. Please, if you have any feedback, feel free to give it to us at productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Speaking of entertainmentpartners.com, please feel free to visit our website, specifically our community page, where you can join our social networks. Thanks for watching.